Hi, my name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and you're watching Ask Dr. T. Today's question is, can you help me with my psoriasis? And the answer is absolutely yes, as well as other skin diseases, including alopecia, which is when you have some loss of hair and clumps, vitiligo, which is when you lose some skin pigment, acne and eczema, which most of you have heard of. Now, the way that we do this treatment is with an extremely safe and easy treatment, and we call it UVB-NB, which stands for Ultraviolet B Narrow Band Therapy. Now, what, what is this exactly? And if you look at this picture over here we have, it, this is a, an example of one of the units, and it looks just like a sun tanning booth, which basically you are doing the same type of treatments in these kinds of units. The difference is the wavelength, the ultraviolet wavelength that we're using in these units has been shown to have the most benefit for these type of conditions. So for example, again, if we just go through some of the things that we use to treat with, psoriasis, vitiligo, alopecia, acne, and eczema. These are the big five. There are other things that can also be treated with this type of therapy, and if you go to our website, you can, uh, we can, uh, that information will be there, or you can email us as well. But another example would be, for example, pityriasis rosea, not as common as some of these other things, parasoriasis, lichen planus. These are other things that are also treatable with this type of therapy. Now, as far as being a safe therapy, it's extremely safe, and if you're going to compare it to some of the medications out there like Remicade or Enbril that they use for these different skin diseases, there's no match. Um, this is a type of therapy that pretty much is it's FDA approved. Your insurance, for the most part, will cover it, and it's safe and effective. It's definitely something you should try if you have these different conditions. We have some pictures here which are not so pleasant, but we're just going to go through them real quick. These are examples of psoriasis right here, over here as well, and down here. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with psoriasis, what's happening is your skin normally grows at about 28 to 30 days. That's how long it takes. But with psoriasis, your skin is growing extremely fast in certain areas. Uh, four to five days as compared to the 28 to 30 days. So you're getting this buildup of skin and tissue in these certain areas, but because it's being grown or uh, so fast that it's abnormal skin tissue, and it will almost have, in some cases, an actual silver-like appearance. Go to the next page here. Some other examples of alopecia right here. See where we have the balding areas, and with this young, young woman here, she's got a balding spot right there, which kind of tells you this can happen really at any age, and it usually will start as young as 15 years of age. These are two examples over here of um, vitiligo, which is loss of pigment, and this is most commonly from uh, melanin not being produced in the skin. Now, if you could maybe close, get in close real here or zoom in, we've got some before and afters. And these actually took place after about six weeks of treatment with uh, UVB, NB, ultraviolet B therapy. This one is the vitiligo. See the change in the uh, skin pigment. This one's for eczema. Uh, on the one on the left, you'll notice that the hands are flaky. They're swollen. Poor lady can't wear her rings, and then after treatment, she's actually able to get her rings on because the swelling has gone down. And down here, we have a depiction of psoriasis before and after. Now, not everybody can have this type of therapy. There are contraindications, which means there are uh, times when it's not recommended for use. One of those is when you're taking certain medications, for example, certain antibiotics make your skin more photosensitive or you're very sensitive to the light. Um, also, for example, if you have lupus, that has, that's a disease where your skin will be more sensitive to light as well. Or if you've had any type of skin cancer, whether it's a melanoma, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, then this type of treatment may not be right for you. There are a few side effects which we've got listed down here for UVB NB. The main ones are sunburn, skin aging, and also there's an increased risk of skin cancer with prolonged use. And that's very important because when you're doing this type of therapy, 
you're only having uh, being in these units for anywhere from 30 seconds to up to two to three minutes. So the amount of exposure you're getting is very minimum. And then after uh, a so many week period, you're going on a maintenance and so your levels are even lower. So there, unfortunately, there is a risk of skin cancer, but again, it's with prolonged treatments for long periods of time, which usually we do not have to do when we're treating any of these skin conditions. Now, the next thing we're going to go over is I'm going to show you some other additional therapies that you can do in conjunction with ultraviolet therapy that will also help these skin, skin conditions even more. The first one we're going to talk about is for psoriasis. Now, psoriasis is an autoimmune disease, which means that your immune system is actually attacking self. There's a very strong correlation between autoimmunity and different food allergies or food sensitivities, specifically gluten or wheat. Uh, actually, there's a tenfold increase in patients that have autoimmunity and have a wheat sensitivity. So the one thing we do is we take you off of wheat, put you on a gluten-free diet for a period of time, and see how you do. The second thing we'll also do is we'll try to knock out inflammation. And there's certain supplements that we'll use for that. For example, turmeric, which is a spice, fish oil, and we'll also use green tea extract. Uh, also, we try to modulate the immune system. Now, when I say modulate, I don't mean we boost it to make it work stronger, but we're trying to modulate it to try to get it to work better, to balance it out. And we'll use vitamin D because most people, unfortunately, are low in vitamin D, and it does help modulate the immune system. We use whey protein, which comes from milk. And um, we also use selenium, which is a mineral. Going to the next one, alopecia, which is the hair loss, it's also considered that it uh, can be an autoimmune disease. So the same things that we talked about for psoriasis go, go for the alopecia. But there are also a few vitamin deficiency, deficiencies, specifically iron, zinc, and B vitamins that can be deficient, and we'll check for those and replace those if they're low. Regarding vitiligo, what we'll do is we'll put patients on high doses of B vitamins because it's been shown to be helpful, but we'll also use specific topical uh, supplements, if you will, um, that are made at compounding pharmacies locally when you're going through treatments. And last but not least, we have acne and eczema. With both of these, we take you off milk products because there's an association with uh, milk sensitivity with both of these conditions, acne and eczema. Specifically for acne, we also look for vitamin A and zinc deficiencies, and we'll replace those if they're found. And with eczema, we'll also use uh, fish oil and probiotics, which are the active cultures that are in yogurt, for example. So basically, we've talked about a condition here that different skin conditions that can be treatable easily, uh, again, FDA approved, most of your insurance will cover these, these treatments. And um, any questions out there? Oh, there's a question. Where do you get these treatments done? Well, if you contact me at askdrt at gmail.com, be glad to answer that question for you. Also, you can go to our website at www.cfhll.com. My name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian, and this has been Ask Dr. T.